Hi guys, welcome back to Heroes Manufactured Live. Uh, we're here for season three, episode two. I've got uh, some great guests today, uh, specifically uh, some Canadian artists that are doing some incredible work, both artists and editor, um, and and a collaborative team both uh, uh, on the layout as well. So I mean, it's quite quite unique to have these two guys. And uh, one of them has actually worked. Uh, actually, both of them have worked on a project that was featured here in our last season. Uh, if you guys recall, uh, Yuri uh, with uh, his story uh, uh, of Oktana, I'll, I'll uh, get into that shortly. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a, a really unique artist. Again, as I mentioned, uh, Canadian. Uh, uh, so we're going to get right into it here and uh, introduce you to George uh, Todorovsky and hey. uh, Renee uh, uh, Vrind. And so uh, if you guys can uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves. I know uh, uh, you guys, I see you're, you're, you're in quarantine mode today. Uh, but uh, yeah, George, uh, I will start off with you. If you can tell us a little bit about uh, uh, yourself, kind of how you got into uh, the, the amazing work that I've seen in, at shops across uh, Toronto uh, and abroad. I mean, uh, I know you're a bit, you're big on science fiction, cyberpunk uh, uh, in terms of the, the visuals that I, I personally admire. I'm a big uh, a cyberpunk fan. But yeah, if you can share a little bit about yourself and kind of what got you started in the business and and into uh, uh, the art, you know, the fantasy world that uh, you've created. So, uh, well, basically, I've been well, I, I've been doing art since ever I can remember. But uh, I was actually first published in comics when I was only fourteen, at the, like uh, yeah, back in high school. Uh, so I started pretty young in terms of uh, doing work for for books, publications, stuff like that. Um, and of course, I, I've done stuff for magazines for. For uh, you know different types of books and stuff like that, different types of illustration over the years. Uh, always loved comics, of course. Um, yeah, so I, I've done work for like you know companies like Heavy Metal Magazine. Recently, did some yeah. stuff for um, uh, for Amazing Stories Magazine, which is uh, awesome to be part of. Yeah, and of course now the uh, TV shows back as well, which is kind of cool, um, giving the magazine okay. a little boost. Okay. So yeah, just uh, yeah, I've always uh, kind of just I just you know love art. So I've always loved sci-fi and fantasy. Actually, I've done both. I've actually worked for fantasy games and done some fantasy comics as well. But uh, lately, I've been loving the sci-fi. Absolutely loving it. So uh, yeah, yeah, and the visuals that you've produced, like the the visuals that you've produced here, are just incredible. I mean, I'm going to show a little bit of the visuals here. I have quite a few visuals. Uh, and it's it's great because you know a lot of our audience just loves to eat this stuff up and and take a look because there's a lot of our, our Canadian and American uh, uh, audience members who like to see what other people are putting out out there. But uh, this one here is amazing stories, which you just mentioned uh, a couple yeah. minutes ago there. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean this is just uh, amazing work. I love the, the the detail, the attention to detail that you've put in here with regards to the inking. I mean. Uh, 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 I'm kind of jealous, man, because I want to. I want to create stuff like this. It's amazing, yeah. you know, the yeah. cross hatching. Everything is just beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, this was. Uh, this is one of the. I uh, basically I did a series of interior art pieces. Uh, this is a uh, sort of, a, I guess, a sneak peek of what you'll get in the uh, issue. It should be coming out soon, I believe. Uh, yeah. It was just recently successfully kicked out. Actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, yeah, so it's gonna it should be coming out soon. It's uh, that's just one. Sort of sneak preview. That's a full page uh, illustration. A lot of the other illustrations are spot illustrations, so they're smaller. But uh, basically, it's the same style all the way through. So I've done, I did a few of them. So it's kind of cool. It's for the cover story of the book. So it's kind of cool. These here, uh, is this because it's one of the images I've seen recently posted? I know on our heroes group as well. I believe the one on the left there. Uh, yeah. But tell us a little bit about this. Is this part of Amazing Stories or is this part of the sci fi uh, coloring book? Because I know you've got that as well. Yes, these two images are from the sci-fi coloring book. So, uh, so you'll get to color these. Uh, so, this is what we're kickstarting right now. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, basically, um, it's it's a collection of sci piece, uh, sci-fi pieces that I've done. Uh, I'm trying to lean towards my more detailed, kind of cool, intricate sci-fi work. Uh, uh, the idea was well, it's an idea we sort of had for a while, but at comic conventions, uh, more than once, we've had uh, basically fans uh, ask us. You know, basically say, hey, this 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 piece would be great in the coloring book. Have you ever thought of doing a coloring book? Like, we've had it more than once, and and so we thought, okay, we've already discussed this idea, and now we're hearing people ask for one. So it's like, 
this is the time to do it. Let's, you know, like, it, you know, we waited a bit because we brought out the, the art book first, I believe. Yes, yeah, last year. Yeah, last year. But then a couple years ago. Yeah. Right. So, but anyway. So, uh, it yeah. really is. It's amazing. I mean, I, I love the, 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 I, to me, it's not just sci fi. This is cyberpunk on every level. I, and I, yes. I personally, like, I, fi I find it hard to find cyberpunk books out there. I mean, it's, it's like, it's almost like a hidden style and a, and a, a hidden form of storytelling and i mean your your visuals tell a story right from the get-go which i love i mean uh it's absolutely incredible work here so thank you yeah th those two pieces that we're seeing now are also in the coloring book so these we can also color these as well so that's kind of cool yeah, yeah i've actually been doing sci cyberpunk in particular i've been doing pretty much since high school it's always been a genre i've always kind of played with uh since the first i guess <laughs> not long after the first wave of yeah. like you know yeah of uh, when it first was sort of the genre sort of born, I guess you could say. Um, where where yeah. can we find this coloring book? I mean, if, uh, you know, as is it, can you order it online? Can you find it in specific uh, shops? I know I've seen it personally, uh, as I mentioned to you, uh, in Gotham Central here in uh, in, in Toronto. But uh, well, the, coloring other, other... Yeah. the coloring book actually is the what we're kickstarting. So it's actually yeah. hasn't oh, been... Yeah. Yeah, it's not out yet. Yeah, you you might be thinking about the. Oh, okay. uh, so, uh, so I saw yeah I saw the sci-fi book I believe it was a yeah it was, it was a nice. sci it's uh, yeah we Art before book, this right? uh, yeah I had a book uh, I have a book called uh, uh, sci-fi design, design yeah. uh, uh, the fantastic works of George Tadarowski which uh, yeah that title actually I based it on the first. Uh, Art book that I ever owned called the Fantastic Works of Frank Frazetta. So I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna steal that part and add it to the yeah. uh, sort of an homage to the first art book I ever owned. Uh, which uh, yeah. Anyway, so no, that's, that's awesome. I mean, and, and I love Frank uh, Frazetta's work. I mean, oh, over he's the amazing. years, he's amazing. Everything he's done, whether it was Conan or anything else, it's just it's be it's beautiful. And I, I definitely see uh, the relationship to to that to you know. Loving that style, I can see that inspiration in your work. So I mean, it's uh, cool. it's very apparent, and uh, I love it already. So, um, cool. and so uh, you also did some work uh, with regards to Octana and Co. Uh, yep. And I know this is uh, uh, Yuri uh, uh, Levetsky's work uh, in terms of like the, the writing of it. Correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. he's a uh, great guy to work with. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, it was uh, very very cool project i enjoyed uh, i actually did the cover uh, an alternate cover for issue one uh, and mm -hmm. then i also did the main cover on issue two uh and and just you know i just thought the story itself was very engaging very interesting and and i thought it just kept it kept growing and getting deeper with each issue and then and then he asked me to do issue three uh and and it's interesting because i was actually always already thinking after doing a cover for the two i thought this would be an interesting book to work on uh, you know like this would be a fun not thinking that that would happen, just like this would be a fun uh, book to work on. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he like asked me if I'd like to work on the next issue, and I'm like, uh, yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> yeah. And uh, awesome. so, um, and and when I read the script for that, it was even you know more developed, a little deeper, and it was just like the story just gets more and more evolved. That's what I like about it, and expanding, and and uh, it just reveals more and more stuff as you go through it. And uh, it's it's very it's a very cool book. Loved working on it, and of course, uh, beautiful colors by Angel RD. Uh, that's like, yeah, his color work, just gorgeous. Yeah, so it's a it's a book turned out really nice. And what what does it take you like? I when I look at some of these images, like I'm looking at this one right here. This is this is work <laughs> you did. In, uh, uh, it's it's called uh, Portents. Portent. Yeah, it's pretty detailed. Eh? Yeah, uh, Portents. Yeah, it's uh, that. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, this piece uh, did take a while. The original is, uh, I believe, 22 inches by 25 inches. Uh, wow. This took me three weeks, many hours a day. So <laughs> I, don't, I, I never count hours, so I don't know how many. But, yeah, this, was, uh, this is actually an exclusive print uh, that's available uh, through our Kickstarter as well. Um, so you can get a signed copy. And it's also limited. It's, it's, the, it's one of the uh, rewards that's not as – there's not as many of these ones. Mm -hmm. It's sort of more of a limited uh, print uh, reward, uh, but it is available, and it's a larger one too. It's eleven by seventeen. This print, so um, so yeah, so this is available through our Kickstarter. So you can get a copy of this along with, of course, a copy of the coloring book, and actually my art book, uh, the sci-fi design, and my graphic novel, um, the book. It's literally just called the book. 
is uh, are both available uh, through the Kickstarter as well as, as one of the reward tiers. So, so you can get basically, uh, yeah, so you can get the coloring book, uh, sci-fi design, and the book basically through the as yeah as an reward as a reward tiers in one of the reward tiers. So, so and and, the, and, uh, and, I, and sorry to cut you off here, but what I was, was going to say that uh, I noticed that like your style. I mean, even from some of the images we've already looked at. Uh, you tend to go from like the, the the pencil inking, and then sometimes into even like more colorful painting. Uh, uh, yeah, and and yeah. I, I noticed that even here. I mean, this this looks like it's it's a mix of almost digital. Is it digital on some level? Or uh, this one is digitally painted. Yeah, this is a, a a double page spread that's in the uh, uh, the art book, the sci fi design book. So this is a double page spread. This was uh yeah di full digital painting. Um, yeah, I do that from time to time. I'll, I'll sometimes occasionally even do comics that way where, I'll, where the entire comic is digitally painted. So, uh, uh, which, uh, like, for example, in, in the book uh, Anthology, uh, I, I tend, I do, it's about 16 stories ranging from just like one page gags to like 20 page more in depth stories. Uh, every story in, in that graphic novel, I change my style to suit each story just to give it, uh, well, sort of something I enjoy doing. And it creates a very unique book in that respect, right? So, and it's to suit wow. the style of the story, right? So, some were, you know, uh, pencil, uh, you know, pencil and ink, of course. Uh, some are um, a digitally full digital painting, uh, and uh, there's, you know, the in between. There's one, you know, there's a story in there, I believe, that's drawn with pencil and then colored, right? So it's just, you know, pencils and color, right? So, so it's, uh, yeah, so it's a nice variety of styles and different things. So, but there's definitely some digitally painted stuff like this in the book as well. So it's kind of yeah. Cool. And, and here's some more visuals. I mean, this is just, uh, it's, I mean, it, it feels like Blade Runner. Like, you know, like it's, it's, it's uh, something between Blade Runner and Star Trek Insurrection there on the right. But I mean, it's, <laughs> uh, do you find yeah. that, that, do you find that some of your inspiration comes from films and from cinema or is oh, it more, I, more yeah. other novels or comics? Um, I think I get, I gain uh, inspiration from anywhere and everywhere. Like where anything that I think looks cool, uh, whether it's film, uh, books, comics, art, art books, whatever, right? Like life, of course, uh, you know, right from life and just the imagination, of course. Uh, uh, well, it, it all ends up in the imagination and whatever comes out is, is the, is the accumulation of what you gather, you know, through what, you know, things you've, uh, seen or, or, you know, or experienced or whatever. But yeah, so, um, yeah, just anything and everything that I can, uh, that, that inspires me, I'll use in one facet or another. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. We have we have t a ton of artists that always like to, you know, scope out everyone else's work. And that's, I feel like it's something that all us artists need to do, right? Like, I myself, I sketch from time to time. Nothing close to what you're producing, but I, I, I just like to have fun with it. I did go to an art school years ago, and I, I feel I get inspired just by looking at something. And it's, uh, uh, I mean, it's kind of the fun part of, Hosting this show is that I get to just see all this amazing work that yeah. gets pumped. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so I mean, you know, and, and some of the art g goes up uh, on my walls here, as you can see. I mean, it, it, we we've we've commissioned some work out as well over the years, and it, it's awesome. But uh, uh, just looking at what you're doing here, I mean, the, the, like I, I'm again, I, I'm just uh, like like dumbfounded by this whole thing. I mean, it's. It's amazing what you're doing, and, uh, Thank you. and it's absolutely incredible. And, and so, tell us, this is a book called The Key. Is that has that been released uh, yet? Yeah. No, no. The, the key is um, yeah. Uh, the, the, some of these images I sh showed you uh, are basically from. Some of the images are from the graphic novel uh, anthology that I was mentioning. Uh, these oh, two. Yeah. Eight, this is to show the different styles, I guess you could say. Uh, so each each story in the, the book was had its own sort of style. Uh, so the one on the left is is um, is one style, and that's actually just a one-page gag, to be honest. It's uh, it's kind of misleading yeah. the title, and then it's you know the key. But anyway, yeah, so it's sort of one-page gag. The one on the right is uh, a longer story, and it's more of a visual-based story with actually no text at all. Actually, it's a very interesting story that's also in the book, uh, and actually interesting, uh, which this was not on purpose, but now I can mention it. Both these two pages, uh, which is an, a method I like to do sometimes to give it. A very organic quality and very straight from my mind to the paper kind of quality is both these two pages were drawn straight in ink, so neither of these were pencil. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So you wow. two drastically different styles, but and both of them were done straight in ink. So, 
And, and so, that's that's the yeah. thing. I've noticed there's a lot of artists that do that. You know, they won't necessarily go uh, directly. Uh, you know, they won't necessarily uh, uh, carve out the the look or 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 you know they'll just if it, it's like you said, if it comes to mind, you just put it on paper, right? So I, I love that you did that here. Uh, and it's, you. it's you know, different. Uh, you know, it's yeah, not too many. To yeah, not too many people do that though. Like usually, the you know you you pencil it out or or lay it out at least that kind of thing. Yeah. But but I but I love that feeling of directly from the mind to paper, you know, like where it's there's nothing in between. You lose nothing from your imagination to what the outcome is, kind of thing. So uh, yeah, it's because because they both like like I'm just looking at these two pieces here, for example, but they both have also a very different feel, and and even yeah. the way you've colored them, and and do you do your own coloring or do you have others coloring with you as well? Um, I, I most of the time I do. Um, uh, just about all the artwork myself, but every once in a while, like obviously with Yuri's book, Angel R.D. did the colors. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually the yeah. the uh, piece on the right, I don't think, is this one of the pages? Yeah, yes. You think so? Yes, it was. Uh, oh, yeah. Early, okay. That's yeah. the middle story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. I, mean, yeah, I thought this was earlier in the, in the story. Because I know you did the, I don't know, regardless, yeah. uh, Rene yeah. did the last four or five pages, the flats for that story. The one mm -hmm. on the right, he yeah. actually. Uh, oh, yeah. And that's the editor then stepping in because it was so trying to get started to go to get this thing to print. So uh, I needed I really needed to get this thing done. So I thought, okay, yeah, help him out. I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna start covering these pages to get it get yeah. going. Well, yeah. I wanted him to, but yeah, yeah. it sped up the no, process. It's, and it's cool. because it has it like it has a unique, it has like a flat look, but a very unique, colorful look. So I mean, and, yeah. and it's like you know, when you, it's funny because when you go into the shading which is more on the left less shading on the right but it has a certain worldly world-like feeling to it that you won't get in, a, in another image right so yeah no. uh, it's to me i see the the you know i i see it in in two different ways in two different forms and i absolutely love both right so it's uh yeah. it's interesting from from you know kind of a, cr a critique uh perspective but uh I uh, absolutely love them both and they're, they're great uh and and i mean that brings me into this image here as well um, this seems almost photorealistic in many ways. Uh, Thank you. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by it as well. Uh, what? What? Uh, I mean, it, it even feels a little like Octana and Co. with regards to some of the the artwork there. So, um, uh, was this yeah. all done digitally? Yeah, this is digitally painted. Uh, no photographic uh, materials or references were used, so it's all out of my mind. Because <laughs> a lot of people have actually asked about this because they found it very photographic. Um, it's uh, it's a story. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's um, a ghost in time. Yeah. It's uh, one of the first larger stories in the book graphic novel, uh, and the entire story is painted digitally like this. So the, these these two pages are out of sequence, mind you, but uh, it's just to give a variety of the type of work that's in this story. So it's all digitally painted. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of a creepy story. Yeah, it's kind of eerie. Yeah. And so, like a, a lot of these stories that you have, I mean, you, you have a website that uh, uh, you can share with us that we can we can kind of take a look at and find some of these because mm -hmm. I know that, we, that like you you provided me with some information here, and mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll be able to share that here. But uh, is there a specific store where you're where they can find these, these yes. books? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I it's a Square that. site, uh, I believe. Yeah. I think I believe I sent you a link. Um, yeah, so it, 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 elsewhere. It's the one that's coming up right now. It's elsewhere media dot store dot square dot site. So. That's the one. Yes, yes. All this stuff right. is available right um, there. It's right below my yeah, finger. Yeah. <laughs> so check out that website. I'll Absolutely. Yeah, it yeah, just happened to go by it right at that moment. It's cool. Yeah, I, I, I'll, yeah I, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys take a look at that. But now uh, you also have a Kickstarter that you mentioned a few times. Yes. In your yeah, launch. that's right. That, 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 Coloring book, right? Yes, that is. That's the sci-fi coloring book. We we're trying to do something different, uh, just in terms of having a very detailed, like sci-fi coloring book. Basically, there's a lot of, you know, usually it's more simple lined. So we went all out with this one. I was trying to get some more. I did a lot of, like most of its newer work that I did for it. Uh, so a lot of detailed sort of work. Um, and also, it's printed on like high quality, like uh, thick, like heavier weight paper, and only on nice. one side, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about bleed through. And if you take it out to frame it, you don't lose the thing on the other side, right? So uh, I, I was thinking about this. I want it to be a really good book, right? We, we both we, we both mm -hmm. talked about it. We thought, let's make this like high quality. We're, you know, we're trying to, yeah, we're paying that little extra to get it to get it that way, but we think it's worth it. We want that quality product, right? So 
and uh, yeah. it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be good. And also, the, what I was going to mention is those same books we discussed are actually available on the Kickstarter, as I mentioned, in different wards at a reduced price than you would get right now at the uh, at the store. At, at the, the store. Right? Right. So yeah, while the Kickstarter is going, you can get any uh, either the art uh, the art book or the the book graphic novel that we were just discussing. You can get either one of them at a reduced price through the Kickstarter as one of the rewards. So. Yeah. Like, what are some of your top uh, like uh, items available there on the Kickstarter? Anything, anything in specific that you want to mention? Um, I'm trying to think. Well, there's prints. There's a lot of prints available. Uh, of course, there's that super detailed print, uh, which is uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Portents. Uh, there's four other prints. One actually, Renee inked. Uh, did an awesome job yeah. inking yep. one of them. Yep. Um, there's uh, one actually. Uh, uh, as I, I, I think I was mentioning to you, actually before the show, I was mentioning to you uh, how yeah. some of my friends, which you know, I, I thank them, uh, they're, they're they're awesome. Uh, they uh, helped me promote the Kickstarter by coloring pieces from uh, from the book. So I sent them, you know, sent them some files, and they printed them out and colored it. Some of them did it digitally. Uh, and that's, Paul, that's, the, that's the ones right here, right? That we yeah, yeah that's those, are the ones. those are the ones. Yeah, yeah. So those are all their names right there. Um, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I know Stella, like I mentioned Stephanie Lyon. I know her. Yeah, uh yeah. Greg Ferguson. Uh Paul, I'm not sure, but I mean that's beautiful work that he's got there. I mean, yeah. he Jerry made Dale. it look so smart. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, yeah. And uh yeah, I know Locke Nugent, he's down there as well. Uh yeah, yeah, Stephanie and, and, and Jerry there too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um so um actually the piece airbrushed by Paul Mgenko is also available as one of the prints. So he oh, actually nice. airbrushed that one. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know anyone who, who uses an airbrush these days. I mean, it's yeah, it's amazing. I know. It's, he's amazing. <laughs> yeah, his works are fantastic. Renee, you, you created one there as well, right, Renee? From what I see on on the the one in the middle there on the right. Yes, on the right. It's uh, yeah. I did, I did my I did my basic uh, colorful flat colors, similar to what I uh, did with uh, George's uh, story in the book. Um, well, great color choices. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I love it. And you know what? It, it's a you've definitely set a mood there as well. So I love uh, I love your work, your coloring work, and uh, it's just it's amazing. It definitely defines uh, uh, the, the character and and the setting. So I mean, uh, some some awesome work there, guys. Um, and and so the I'll, there's a couple of other books here we haven't really looked at, but uh, I mean. Uh, this uh, so what's this? This is the book, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so this is the book. Um, this basically just kind of describes. Uh, it's kind of what I said. It's like sixteen different stories. Uh, wow. Each one has its own style. Um, I got nice poetic bookends in a sense. It starts off with sort of this poetic uh, verse and then ends off with a poetic uh, comic. I guess it's a one one to two, I think two page comic. So it's kind of intros and outros that connect it. There's even an image on the back. Uh, that that when you read the book from start to finish, you won't know what it is if you just look at it on its own. I'll keep that. I'll leave that as a secret for anyone who reads it. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but when you read the book and then you see the image on the back, it'll make sense. And it's just it's just a, a, a just kind of a circle on the back. But it's a uh, it's, blue it's circle. Absolutely back, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I mean, I I'm 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 a fan of the work myself. It's it's Thank great you. stuff uh, you've done here. Yeah. And uh, th th this here's uh, uh, th another image, I guess. Is that the other image you're talking about? For the, the yeah, book? so this is the, these are the covers. So the book, uh, the book uh, graph novel cover on the left. Uh, the one on the right is uh, uh, sci-fi design. Uh, basically, it's an art book. So yeah, yeah. Be nice. both that beautifully book. printed, like glossy paper, very good quality, square bound. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, and and. and uh, it's it's funny because when I you know when I've been to Gotham Central and, uh, and some of these other shops I've seen that uh, I'm not sure if it was that specific book or maybe it was a different one but um, the sci-fi design book is that the one that you you have out right now? Yeah, that's yeah. the one that's out. Yeah, yeah. that's probably the oh, one he's yeah. out. Yeah. yeah, so that 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 I mean just opening it up I'm always looking at other artists what other artists are doing just to yeah. get inspiration. I mean that I remember that book just popped out at me and I was All like right. wow the, the visuals are just beautiful and. Uh, a second I saw the name, I was like, "Oh yeah, you know, it looks this looked familiar." And then I was like, "Oh, it's George's work." So I mean, I've noticed uh, uh, just putting, you know, uh, uh, I've never had a face to the name until now, but uh, it's, it's, uh, 
yeah. it's quite quite unique. You know, I've seen you your postings in our group, as I mentioned, and it's uh, it's yeah. nice to see that you you have your work out there uh, out in the flesh. I mean, it's awesome. Um, and the fact that, like, I mean, you've done some work for like heavy, uh, heavy metal. That's, uh, yep. that's huge. I mean, that's right here. Heavy metal being, you know, uh, around since the, the early seventies, I believe, uh, yeah. I mean, huge, huge magazine, huge publication and, yeah. uh, absolutely beautiful work here. So, I mean, and, and how long is this, is this like a full story that you have in there? And these, um, these are the it, it's actually, uh, six pages. Uh, it was actually reg recommended to me by um, uh, Eastman, yeah. Eastman himself yeah. to keep it short. <laughs> yeah. I actually met uh, um, uh, with Kevin Eastman at a convention in the loading dock area, I guess, the loading area. Um, yeah. Didn't even know, did not even know it was him. I spoke to him for a good, like, maybe 15 minutes before I caught on who he was. Yeah. He just seemed like a cool guy, you know, like down to earth and just, you know, Wait, you know, just chatting while we're waiting for some. Yeah, some uh, just, just the creator of the Ninja Turtles. I mean, nothing big. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. And then I caught. And I went. And when I caught on, when he mentioned Ninja Turtles and stuff, I'm like, "Wait, are you Kevin Eastman?" And yeah. he's like, "Yeah, you, you didn't know." And I'm like, "No, I didn't." Oh my god! Uh, and and yeah. I'm like, "Wait, you own Heavy Metal, don't you?" And he goes, "Yeah, yeah, I do." Well, you know, I've been wanting to submit for years. Uh, do you have any ad advice? Like, uh, you know, I've been thinking about it again recently. And he goes, "Oh yeah, yeah." And then. He just gave me all this advice, keep it short, make sure it's got the feel. He gave me a bunch of advice at the time. I don't remember everything. Wow. And he goes, you should definitely submit. And then so I I, uh, I did, and <laughs> I got in. So it was uh, kind of I've, I've, uh, I've met Eastman at least two or three times. Uh, I know in Ottawa Comic Con years ago and uh, San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con. So, I mean, uh, he's, he's a great guy, easy guy to oh, talk yeah. to. Yeah. I love that he does free signing still. Um, you know, it's, it's something because in the industry, there's so many that are charging and it doesn't make sense sometimes, especially when, you know, they're making so much money off of everything else. Yeah. So it's nice to see that, that sometimes they give a little bit of love back. Right. Yeah. But uh, um, I'm, I'm listen, I'm, I'm I, and I see a bit of even a bit of Eastman inspiration in some of your work here. I mean, uh, I, it's, it, I mean, I can tell I'm not sure if everyone else can, but uh, it, it's, it's nice. When I look back at some of the images here. Some of the line work. I mean, it's got that kind of that that gritty yet yet pure. I mean, you, you your form is a lot better. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I love these stuff, but your form is more is more real. So I mean, it's awesome. Um, you're doing you know, a great job. The thing uh, I must mention is Kevin Eastman. Uh, um, I worked on a comic called The Regulators back in the 2010. And yeah. um, it's a sci-fi book written by Jeff Lau. It's a fantastic book. It's from it's uh, published by um, Visionary Comics. Nice. Uh, Kevin Eastman uh, had his top ten, uh, I guess, favorite comics or something like. That. I don't remember exactly how he worded, but it was like his top ten picks of the year for comics uh, yeah. in 2010. Uh, sorry, 2010. And the Regulators was uh, one of the his top ten picks. And I was just like, he gave us a shout out, like. Oh my God, it's amazing! It's like, so that I mean, was awesome. If you know him personally, get him on our show. I'd love to have him on here with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. If I if uh, I can it, no, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, he's he's. Uh, I know he's he's out, so that's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, it's it's just amazing to see what you've done, though, what you put together here. Um, like I said, I mean, I'm a personal big fan of the sci-fi. Uh, a cyberpunk world, and I, I that, that's what I see here. I definitely see a huge influence on that, but there is definitely a fantasy based realm to it as well. Uh, mm -hmm. it's dark and gritty, which you don't get a lot out there, and absolutely love it. Now, do you, um, do you teach at all? Do you, is it something you, you'd be interested down the road? Are you looking uh, at something? Like that? <laughs> yeah, I thought about that. Like, people keep asking me that, and uh. And and once in a while I've helped some people out and they're like, Oh, you should be a teacher, you're so good. Because it's I've learned more from you in just an hour than I have in weeks at this place or whatever, right? But yeah. it's something that I uh I thought about a few times. I don't know if it's hundred percent my thing. I think uh, uh yeah, I think you have yeah. to you have to you have to wanna to love to teach, right? That's yeah, the other thing. exactly. Yeah, that, that's but, what it is. Uh, it's it's absolutely great. And and in terms of like the tools that you use. Uh, I, I mean, you did say on some level you, you do do the penciling and then the inking, but others you just go straight to ink. You're using uh, digital as well. So what do you use on the digital? Is it a tablet or is it are you using uh, a Wacom? Is it a bit of both? 
Mouse. Mouse. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. As old school as it gets. Just use a mouse. That's it, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. People are always like, what? Use a mouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Completely. funny because I, it's funny because I, I, I became like spoiled. I mean, I use a, uh, a tablet. I use an I, I, I had to have the iPad Pro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I had to have the pencil, right? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to get a Cintiq, but those buses are pretty pricey. So it's mm -hmm. like, but uh, yeah, so you know what a Cintiq is? Have you seen? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those things are amazing. Those are, the, I mean, I've seen them anywhere between like I think twelve hundred to fifteen hundred, depending on yeah, yeah, where. Yeah. You're going. If if I'm right about what I'm saying here, but there's there, yeah, it's. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of different ways to do it, and do you ever go traditional in terms of painting as well, or is it is it most? Uh, yeah, actually, um, um, the actually the cover of the sci-fi design art book is an oil painting on stretched canvas. Yeah. The one on the right. Yeah. And yeah. the original for that, it's a uh, was it 20, 16 by twenty? Sixteen by twenty. Yeah. Yes, is available as the grand prize reward where you get this original oil painting. And everything oh, wow. else available in the entire Kickstarter, you get it all basically. Yeah. So, um, big uh, the, yeah, it's the it's the big it's the most expensive tier though. It's the it's the yeah we call it the grand prize. So, but it's uh, so yeah, so it's original oil painting on stretch canvas. So, uh, yeah, I do acrylic, I do watercolor, um, I do I do it all. So yeah, it's that, is, there medium, is there a medium that you really just you'll never do? You never want to do? <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, I know. I know for the longest pastel? time. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, actually, and I, I've played around with pastel. I'm not. I mean, I don't think I would do regular. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of pastel. Now that you mentioned that, coincidentally, mm -hmm. or or like a chalk pastel, any mm -hmm. pastel, right? Uh, I yeah. prefer ones that are more like controlled, like brush or mm -hmm. anything to do with brush and stuff like that. But um, yeah, no, most mediums I, I enjoy. I mean, I, I I would love to have been able. To, uh, like I have done some sculpture, even, but but very little. That's something that just takes a little more. You know, a little more time, a little more. It's a whole different thing, you know. It's a whole like, you know, yeah. different medium, you know. Like, uh, but I, but I, you know, I played around with it a few times, and I definitely have modeled stuff in uh, 3D wise and stuff like that. But, uh, and but do yeah. you, do you, where, where do you feel like you do the most work? Where you, you integrate uh, digital with, um, uh, with more like traditional? Like, do, do you do that from time to time, or do you like to stick to one more? Than the no, other no, one you I, I definitely do that. Um, if like I'll often if I do a watercolor piece or any painted piece, I'll often um, do something digitally, either whether it's anything from something small like contrast, but everyone you know everyone will do something like that, contrasting or making it richer, to airbrushing over it, painting over it, you know, or adding textures digitally. Like so, I've actually played heavily uh, with uh, mixing mediums as well. I'll even I even uh, there's one piece I really like. Uh, that, I think I call it the Forest Spirit or Forest King. I can't remember. It was a long time ago I did it, where I used I used tree bark, uh, at, uh, like in one file, and then used a cloning tool for, in Photoshop and painted it using the tree bark. And it's like some sort of entity. It looks like yeah. you made it a tree. And I'm not sure if you know Mike. Too. Sorry, what? I'm not sure if you know Mike Ruth, but I, I've seen him uh, do some stuff where he uses like an acorn or he uses a different. You know, oh, different tool to actually no, paint. paint with it. Yes. No, no, with this, it's uh, I'm literally using the image, like digitally, I'm using the image of tree bark from one file and then painting with the image into wow. another. File. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. then it's like, it's literally painting with uh, photographic materials, I guess you could say. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, and then I, um, and then, and then I used actual photographic materials in the background, but then I painted into it, made it look like an actual weird creature entity spirit thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that one is very, very happy with. But um, yeah, so like I experiment a lot in terms of technique, the way I do stuff. Mm -hmm. But usually, um, yeah, but usually I prefer stuff direct, like it, 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 except for certain circumstances where I'm really experimenting, like in that piece, in terms of using photographs in, in a different way. I tend to prefer sticking to uh, my imagination in terms of when I do art itself, like when I'm drawing or painting. It's uh, it's basically from mind, mind to paper. That's kind of my philosophy. I kind of like awesome. that. But I'm always, but I'm always learning. Regardless, you're always learning wherever you are. Like you're always, it, it's, uh, you know, you're you're taking in, absorbing stuff around you. Like I'll look at a tree when I'm not drawing or sitting down drawing. I'll look at a tree and see how I paint it or how I draw, you know, or a building or whatever, right? 
So there I'm doing the absorption, the analysis, the, you know, right. And then later when I'm drawing and stuff, it's already there and I've already kind of worked out a lot of it. So it, it'll come out of my work. So if that makes sense. Yeah. No, so for sure. Makes sense. Process. Yeah. No, for sure. Awesome. And, and, uh, um, uh, Renee, a couple of questions to you as well. I mean, yeah. uh, being involved, uh, uh, with, uh, George here, um, how is it to collaborate? I mean, cause I, I noticed like, uh, you're credited as, as kind of a production assistant and editor, uh, mm -hmm. but you're also a colorist. Uh, how is it? How do you feel? Uh, and and same with you, George. But but how do you both feel collaborating with others uh, as a team to produce something? And and I, I know George, you have uh, Elsewhere Media. That's your company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he's part of it. Yes. More than, yeah, yeah. And you're, and Renee, you're part of it. Okay. And yeah. so with, with that being said, uh, collaborating with other artists, like those artists who were, who were coloring for you, I mean, how, how do you find that? Do you like, is it, is it an enjoyable process? Is it something that uh, sometimes you, you, you butt heads? Is it like, like, tell us a little bit about that experience, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, no, you know, I, I, no, in my case, I just, I, I follow directions and I, um, um, because I have uh, much less experience in uh, in the actual art, so for when, when I do the when I did the coloring, it was uh, very much uh, a lot of direction from George um, to do the the colors on those pages. Um, in um, yeah, I know in, in in editing, so that's always uh, working together, um, going through all the steps and going through all the the parts and pieces. Um, and then yeah, just where I where I know a bit more about the, about. The layout and about about the digital art, uh, digital um, assembling of uh, of the work to get it ready for printing. Uh, so that's where I can take the lead a bit more, and then in the artist artistic part of it, George takes the lead. Yeah, uh, awesome. I, yeah. I find that uh, yeah, working with Renee is fantastic, but I think it depends on the person you're working with. Sometimes you might have some discrepancy, like you know, some problems or whatever. But generally speaking, in most of my uh, you know, the occasional thing here and there, but for, with certain people, but uh, generally I always find it enjoyable with, uh, with working with, uh, other people, uh, like working with Yuri's been fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, working with Renee is always great. Yeah. So I've always had a lot of, uh, cool clap. Oh, working with, uh, I gotta mention Chris. I, I gotta shout out to Chris Hetsopoulos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, he and, he and I worked on a comic called a little comic called the bear stories. Yeah. Um, uh, nice. yeah. It's it's a very funny it's adult humor book <laughs> highly recommend it it's available on our uh, Square site uh, it's not available though in the Kickstarter no. but yeah working with him is always a blast because we come up with a lot of funny stuff together so mm -hmm. uh, so um, yeah generally speaking yeah I think it's great I think it's a great uh, working with other creative minds other creative people and uh, they always come up with something that you won't you know might not think of at the time in terms of layout or whatever right so um, or just concept. Mm -hmm. And with your company elsewhere media, if you can just share a little bit about kind of the vision of that company as well as a media company as a, I guess, a publishing house as well, right? Yeah, uh, pretty much. Uh, we've done a lot of different things. Uh, like with the bear stories, for example, we've uh, done short animations. There's a sing along. You can check out on the yeah. bear stories. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of a funny sing along, but on the bear stories, um, YouTube channel, um, we've, uh, short films. Uh, I did a film, uh, uh, called shifter. It's about a shape shifter. You can see it actually, I should have given you the link to my, uh, I didn't give my yeah, YouTube channel. You can post it on our group too. We're, we're happy to have that on yeah. our Facebook group. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So the link, so, um, um, we do a lot of different stuff basically. So, uh, we, yeah, so I did a film, um, yeah, shape, it's about a shape shifter mm -hmm. called shifter, uh, 47 minute film. Yeah. Um, and I've, uh, I've created some Christmas cards, so they they're yep. part of that uh, publications. Yeah, he's done some Christmas cards, yep. uh, music videos. Well, yeah. I'm also a musician. Oh, That's yeah. kind of yeah. yeah it's, it's interesting kind of, because yeah. I've I've been in the film world for for I don't know as long as I could think of. I went to OCAD myself, and and uh, it's interesting to to understand how the, you know the relationship between uh, something like comics and 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 art, like like literal artwork, mm -hmm. and 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 seeing film and cinema and seeing the the, the relationship between that, I, I love to see an artist like yourself where you've you've kind of explored the realm of that. I, makes me feel less crazy to be honest. Because <laughs> you know I, I, I I'm a guy who draws yet I I've got this brand Heroes Manufactured where we're pumping out uh, yeah. uh, you know new artists every week and we're doing documentaries and uh, and so you've got this love for different things but it's uh, 
But yeah, it, it really makes me feel less crazy. So I mean, yeah, no, thanks yeah, for making yeah, me yeah. feel less crazy today. No problem, man. Yeah, yeah, I just like sometimes I feel like I, I know what you're talking about. Though you kind of spread yourself almost too thin doing all these different things and jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I totally get that feeling sometimes. Yeah, uh, I've actually uh, just to mention since I mentioned animation, I actually did animated work for uh, uh, oh, yeah. Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. Wow! Oh, I remember that. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That came out a few years back. It was yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Documentary, correct? Yeah. So I said again. It was. Was it a documentary? Yeah, it's like yes, yes. It's it's kind of a documentary type show where they talk to scientists, and it's yeah. theoretic theoretical sciences. Um, yeah. But it's all based. A doc, it's a doc series essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so he was uh, he's the host, um, and of course. When I, I did two animated segments for the episode, Can We Survive the Death of the Sun? It was a segment on black hole engines and a segment on uh, oh, like wow. terraforming Mars. Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what kind of tools were you using to animate that with? Uh, that was all done. Uh, it's interesting because they, they wanted, they were actually asking this company that I was working for called A Secret Plan. It's like, can you guys do something 2D, but it looks you know more realistic, more three dimensional, right? Yeah. Uh, and they were, uh, they're pretty impressed actually when they saw the results. So basically they came to me through a friend of mine who got me the job, uh, cause he knew them. And then he goes, Oh, you got to get George. Right. So all the elements were painted digitally and done in layers. And then so, uh, and it was all like animated in layers. And so like you'd have a spaceship wow. done in, yeah. So you'd have a spaceship done that's done in four layers. And like so it, as it was all two D, but layered two D essentially, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. layered two D. But as it's landing, you know, the front comes down quicker than the back, and all, the, and you know, in nice. the two layers, so it ends up looking very three dimensional. Yeah. Um, they were, uh, yeah, they were pretty impressed. They sent me this letter. Um, I won't quote it exactly, but they went, "Holy blank! I can't. I, 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 I did not even know this was possible." Yeah. <laughs> Is what when they saw the animation I did for them because it was two D, but it ended up looking very three D and stuff. So it was an amazing experience. I loved working on it, but I was very lucky because, like I said, they've got scientists talking about stuff on the show, and they'll show animation with scientists talking over it. Sometimes Morgan Freeman will talk over the animation. I got Morgan Freeman voicing both my segments uh, on, on the episode. Yeah, so I'm just like, awesome. yes! <laughs> it's like, awesome. it's awesome. Well, that's a great. Really that's, 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 that's an accomplishment, man. You've had, you have the voice of God talking over your animation. And <laughs> you got go it. That, right? Um, literally, he was God, I think, in Bruce Almighty. And that's definitely an achievement, man. You've had God yeah, talk. Yeah. I was uh, so happy. Yeah, I was just like, wow, he had, he's, he's voicing my stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that was a, awesome. Such an awesome. iconic voice, too, right? So, it's like, yeah. it's definitely. Absolutely. An achievement there. So uh, yeah. and it's yeah. nice. It's nice to know that you did something two, in two dimensions. Because I mean, I'm a guy who actually, believe it or not, I taught 3D Studio Max years ago, which is you know very three dimensional program, 3D modeling yeah. and all that. And yeah. so it's nice to see where people are still being able to create animation in 2D. Yeah. Um, I you know I I also admire the traditional Disney animation, right? Like I mean, oh absolutely, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so I mean, there's 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 love for it all. I love just, Ralph Bakshi as well. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I love Ralph Bakshi as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ralph, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I do go on though. So I do go on. <laughs> and so that's the thing. Like, there's there's just there's a, it's quite a depth there. And I mean, I I definitely see that depth in your work. And I I mean, you. Uh, uh, you know, I definitely uh, uh, applaud you for uh, everything that you've done. And uh, Renee, some some amazing work there as well. I mean, I, I it it. it it goes to show you, though, that like when you create great work, George, um, you also have other great artists collaborating with you that make it great. So, I mean, I, I uh, you guys are a great team, and uh, uh, and I love your other your you know your other collaborators as well. I love the fact that you worked with Yuri, and uh, the fact that you did some work with Heavy Metal. I mean, that's that's yeah. awesome. So, um, you know, thanks, uh, thank you guys for coming out today. Um, uh, that's it for my questions. If you guys did want to mention anything to, uh, your, your audience out there, uh, if they want to check you guys out, I will put the Kickstarter out there, uh, yes. uh for you guys once again. So, please um, support our Kickstarter. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely guys check it out. Support. Yeah. Definitely check out the Kickstarter guys. It's a great campaign to help back up. Um, uh, and I, I just absolutely admire the work guys. So, uh, thank you once again. Uh, and, and take care, guys. Yeah, you too, man. Take care. Take care.